Hey there, good morning. Welcome to my curls, guys. Literally, welcome, welcome to my curls. I have something so special set up for you all today. The number one question that I get on my channel is about my curly hair. How do I style my hair? How is my hair cut? A lot of you all ask me to give you tips and advice that you can give to your hairdresser about how to cut your curly hair, and I am headed to get a haircut today. I am headed to my stylist, Betsy, and I'm taking you with me. I'm gonna talk to her about what she thinks about me going gray, gray hair in general, and she's going to explain my haircut how she cuts my curls, and I don't end up with a Christmas tree, which is what a lot of you all ask me about. So I'm home, I'm getting dressed to head to Betsy's. So Betsy is gonna think when I walk in, like what the hey? Because I always show up to her place with no makeup on, hair in a ponytail, I'm in my like sweats, and today I actually got up and put my hair in a bread, I have on some makeup, and I have on a sweater. So she is not gonna know what to think. But I'm excited for you all to meet Betsy. She is the curly hair expert. Betsy has curly hair herself. She understands how to cut curly hair and she is fantastic. I have been going to Betsy for probably 10 or 12 years. Both of our daughters used to take gymnastics at the same gym and I would see her coming in as I was going out and I would always notice her curly hair. And so one day I just stopped her and said, hey, can you tell me what products you put on your curly hair? Which is what curly hair girls do, right? You talk to each other. And so she was telling me about the product she uses and I said, well, who cuts your hair? And she just kind of laughed and said, well, I'm a hairdresser. I could not believe it. I got her number and I changed hairdressers at that moment and I've been going to Betsy ever since. She is known in our town as the curly hair expert. She is fantastic. She knows exactly what she's doing when it comes to curls and I gotta say, I love me some Betsy. So I'm excited for you all to meet her and just kind of see what she thought when I told her I was going gray, what her initial reactions were, and then we're gonna talk about how to cut my curls. When I get home from the appointment, I'm gonna take a shower and fix my hair, and I, I know my hair's in a bright, y'all. I just feel like dealing with it, but you're gonna be able to see the haircut. Now, I only get my hair cut about every six to seven weeks, and if you notice right here that I've talked about this before, the gray line, it's like I have a diagonal line on both sides for some reason. The gray just falls in a diagonal. So I'm gonna see if Betsy can kind of do anything about that today and maybe just cut off a little bit of the length on the bottom. Like look how long my hair is if I pull the curl out. I have a lot of hair, but you let go of it and it shrinks up about three inches. For today, I'm kind of sporting the brat and I'm gonna head to Betsy's and get her trimmed up. We call it debulking. So my curly hair, instead of getting longer as the weeks goes on, gets bigger. And so Betsy and I call it debulking. It's just take it in the hairdo to get rid of a little bit of the crazy. Let's get going, I got an appointment. Okay, so hey, this is Betsy. Hi. You all know Betsy, I talk about her all the time. <laughs> Curly hair expert. So Betsy, when I told you I was gonna go gray, what did you think? What was your initial thought? I was a little hesitant at first, just because you have this, and then you have this on yeah. the bottom. But it's always a journey, and it's always fun, and you never know what's gonna happen, so yeah. I was on board. It's been interesting. It has. It has really been interesting. Lots of phases. So do you have many clients going gray? I do not. You mm. are my one and only. Ooh, I, I didn't know, know like that. Special. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Super you are. special. Yeah. So do you have any tips for ladies with gray hair? Just like general tips that would apply to anybody. Purple shampoo. For Purple sure. shampoo. Like, Nobody likes yeah. gray hair that has yellow or orange tones to it. 
purple shampoo and conditioner will be your best friend. Yes. So I use the Joyco purple shampoo, which I've shown to you all. Betsy introduced me to that, and I love that one. Number one question that you all ask me is about my curly haircut. How do I, how does Betsy cut my hair so that I don't have a Christmas tree? And so I'm going to have her explain that to you all so that you can tell your hairdresser, which is what you tell me you want to do. Okay, so the key to not having a Christmas tree is short layers. Renee has lots of great short layers. We always leave a solid section at the bottom, and the sides in the back depend on your curl pattern. Renee is tighter in places, as am I, as probably most of you are, and looser in other places. So once you determine where your looseness and where your tightness is, if you have a solid line across the bottom, then you can take this and do this as short or as long as works for you. The other key is taking out the weight, which I think we're gonna show mm-hmm. a little cute little trick on that I learned years and years ago, and it's a little scary at first, <laughs> and it feels really weird. Is this the debulking? Yes. Is this what we call debulking? Yes. yes. So this is taking out the weight, debulking, sliding. Some people call it slicing in some phases. Mm. Um, but it really is the key and it really does work. Yeah. When you see her do it, it, it's pretty cool because every time it's like, you can see her like sliding the scissors. It's pretty cool. And beware. It feels strange. Don't you feel feel kind of like a plucked chicken a little bit? Yeah. It's like you're razoring down my hair sort of. But yes, it is true. Like you can see how short this is. And I think so many women who end up with the Christmas tree... They make Just layer this the long. Yeah. yeah, they make this long yes. and then short at the bottom so you have mm-hmm. a Christmas tree. So I'm the opposite. Nobody wants to look like a triangle or a no, lampshade. No, that is, that is never mushroom. good. Yes, no. mushroom. So do you have any general, since you have curly hair too, mm-hmm. curly hair tips that would apply to anybody with any kind of curls? I never touch curly hair when it's dry without product on my hands. Lots of people like to flip their head upside down and shake it and scrunch it to give it lift and separation. Mm -hmm. I do that too. I just put product on my hands before I do it. Right. Don't anger the beast and make (laughs) it mad because that's going to cause frizz. And nobody likes frizz. Nobody likes frizz. frizz. I do have frizz. We have very different curls. Mm -hmm. I have a very frizzy, just kind of fun curl pattern where Mm -hmm. yours is more... Thicker, heavier, thicker, like her thicker curls ringlet. stay together. Yeah, mm-hmm. ringlets. Where I'm kind of fuzzy curls. Yep. But okay, so Betsy's gonna cut my hair. We'll kind of show you a little bit of what goes on. Mm-hmm. And are we ready? Okay. So what Part. are you doing? So sliding. What'd you call it? Taking out the bulk. We're gonna We're slice debulking. some hair out. We don't want to get the hair. That's above, everyone has a natural recession. Yeah. So we don't want that hair above it because we've already done what we want to the top. Okay. And you don't need the bulk taken out there. I stay behind the ear. Take a vertical section. This is where it looks scary, but you're not, (laughs) you're not really taking off that much hair. Yeah. Is that going to work? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just very easily going to follow my section and really just took out a tiny amount yeah but it feels weird it does feel weird it does it feels weird so I'm going to do that I'm going to take panels all the way around your head if you do this to the entire head it will make it angry. Oh, yeah. It will be too much. So you kind of have to figure out where your bulk lives. Everyone's is different. And not everyone with curly hair needs the bulk taken out. But if your hair is thick and coarse, then debulking is your friend. So did you have special curly hair training? to learn all this or did you just figure it out like because you have curly hair I did not I just figured it out over time as hairdressers we go to lots of different hair shows um, and it never fails if uh, the class that I'm sitting in on is a small class Mm -hmm. and someone references curly hair then they'll usually connect eyes with me Mm -hmm. 
So I was talking about this technique and she said, well, let me just show you pictures. So back then, you didn't rip, whip out your phone to show pictures. She ripped out her, she whipped out her digital camera. Yeah. And said, here's before and after of me doing this technique on all different hair types. And we just talked about it and it made sense. And so at that time, I probably only had a handful of curly hair clients. And I just started doing it on them. And it worked. And it works. And then that was shortly after that I met you. Yep. And it was the best. Okay. You're that's good. it. That's it. Okay. All right. So here I am. Wet yeah. hair. Betsy worked her magic. I did. <laughs> this is what I look like uh, when I leave. So we'll go home and I'm going to wash and dry beautiful. it. Yeah, make it beautiful and we'll see how much more gray hair we expose. Because we did cut a little bit off down here, took a little bit of length, and we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you, Betsy. You're welcome. Okay, I'm home from Betsy's. And I came home, I washed my hair, dried my hair, and I can see, like, look how perky and soft my hair looks. And we did some more like little random cutting of pieces. Let me show you around my hair. So I have a drastic section right here that is just, it's like at a diagonal. It's really dark and we kind of worked on that section just a little bit, but here's the back. I think it looks really good. Like this top, the top parts, I'm about 75% grown out. It's the length on the bottom, the stuff that we really don't cut that often, that this is what's going to take a little bit of time. But look how much more gray is exposed. I love it, y'all. Betsy knows her stuff. I have learned something today. So I realize that when I wash and dry my hair, I'm in a hurry, I get lazy, I try to like cut out steps. I am learning, and I've known this, I just don't do it, I get lazy. The wetter my hair is, when I put product on it and start the styling process, the better my hair looks. If I let my hair get any sort of dryness to it when I'm putting product on it, I get a lot of frizz. Look at this. I have zero. Look, I got nothing sticking up. I have no frizz today. Normally, when I get in a hurry and I've got my hair up in my little t-shirt and I, and I don't have it wet enough, I have frizz. And today, I have no frizz. So, I have actually learned something today. But y'all... I think my hair looks good. We did cut off a little length here, so I'm feeling just a little bit nude, but I love it. Thank you, Betsy. You know something weird too, like when I look at myself in the camera when I'm talking to you all, I always tend to want to turn my head this way because it shows the gray, but I'm realizing, look, when I turn this way, I can see so much gray that I could never see before. This was all colored. And I think it looks really good, y'all. It's getting all blended in and sort of more more uniform. Um, and I'm liking the way it looks right now. But Betsy did a fantastic job on the haircut today and cutting out the gray. And I hope you all enjoyed meeting her because I love Betsy. So thank you all for joining me today on my little trip to the hair salon so that you can meet Betsy. I hope that you got some tips from her that you can share with your hairstylist on how to cut your curly hair and to get rid of the the Christmas tree, the triangle, the mushroom as Betsy called it. I hope you're enjoying my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video because it is something that you all have been requesting for so long to talk about my haircut. So give the video a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel where I talk about my hair, my curly hair going gray and all sorts of things that I love. So until next time, I'll see you later.